So let's remember that if we have the inverse sine of the sine of x, it simply equals to x. But also remember that the output for an inverse sine, it has to be between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. Well, yeah. So um, in this case, you have an inverse sine and sine, so this will equal to 21 pi over 5. However, our output 21 pi over 5 is not between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. So we can find coterminal angles by either adding or subtracting 2 pi to any angle. So because we have to be between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2, and 21 pi over 5 is way above pi over 2, we are going to be subtracting 2 pi or 2 pi over 1 to find a coterminal angle that is between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. So first thing we need is, is a common denominator. Um, between 1 and 5, the, the common denominator is a 5. So I'm going to multiply this second fraction by 5. Okay, so now you have 21 pi over 5 minus 10 pi over 5, and this gives you 11 pi over 5. 11 pi over 5 is still not between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. You can verify that by converting these into decimal forms. Remember, the, the decimal form of negative pi over 2 is negative 1.57 radians, and the decimal form of pi over 2 is one, positive 1 1.57 radians. 11 pi over 5 is not between either of those two. So then we have to do the same thing again. We're going to subtract 2 pi over 1. And same thing, we get a common denominator of 5. So this is going to give us 11 pi over 5 minus 10 pi over 5, which is going to give you pi over 5. Now pi over 5, that is between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. You can verify that by converting this into a uh, decimal form of radians, um, and so this is going to be our answer. In letter B, we have arc cos of cosine, cosine of negative 13 pi over 4. Same thing applies for cosine. Uh, the output for inverse cosine has to be between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. So this is going to give us a negative 13 pi over 4. Now let's add uh, so negative 13 pi over 4 is to the left of negative pi over 2. So in order to get it in between these values, we're going to be adding 2 pi over 1 to this. Let's get a common denominator. So if I multiply this by 4, my common denominator is going to be 4. So this is going to give you me 8 pi over 4. If I add this up, I get a negative 5 pi over 4. That's still not between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. So what do we do? We do the same thing. To find a coterminal angle, we're going to add uh, a 2 pi over 1 to it. So I'm going to multiply both numerator and denominator by 4. And then this is going to give us negative 5 pi over 4 plus 8 pi over 4, uh, which is going to be 3 pi over 4. Now 3 pi over 4, that is between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. So this is going to be our, our answer.